five minutes. Good luck, goodness for that. Okay. Um, welcome. And, and it's really interesting in terms of um, speed of speech. I'm from New York. Uh, and I'm going to try to go a little bit more slowly. Uh, I want to talk about the future, but from my point of view, and I've been on the planet for enough years, that sometimes the future has to be looked at through the lenses of the past. And one of the things I like to do is say, so where are we? What do we do? And how did we get to where we are today so we can kind of figure out where should we be going for the future? Okay. In the past, okay, we were an industrial society. If you look at us 80 years ago, and you look at the kinds of industrialists, the kind of people that were doing business, and you look at the organizational structures, you look at command and control, you look at a lack of process, and then you see people like um, uh, uh, Denning, and you see people like... Um, Who's the management guy? A drunker, right? Um, really great people who started to contribute to the cause of business and the cause of product management, but it really wasn't very much product management. So if we fast forward the next 60, 70, 80 years, we have organizations now that have really done a couple of things. Number one is they have really started to put business organization at the forefront. Right? We talked a little bit earlier today about what Marty was saying about um, business orientation collaborative management. These are the kinds of things that really start to put business at the forefront. The unfortunate part, if you really think about what's been going on over the last couple of years, the pendulum has moved back and forth a couple of times, right? We've had a couple of recessions, and what happens in recessions is that people who are thought of as not important, sometimes product managers, they go away. Maybe the engineers get to stay, maybe the sales guys get to, stay, get to stay. So what do we need to do? We can start re-fortifying product management. Every time you have to reinvent that wheel, and because you're risk averse and you're resource starved and all these other things, things happen. However, we have really, really established a footprint. All right? The fact is evidence that everybody in this room has established the fact that product management is here to stay. So we have a great pivot point, a couple of issues. A couple of issues like ah, role confusion. How many people have ever been confused between ah, your product marketing, your product management, your development, your this, your that? If you have a product in your name, you must be a product manager, let's give it to you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, everything <coughs> like that. Global organizations, lots and lots of duplication of effort. So if we understand, again, past, present, what do we do? And I have six key points that I want to leave you with in terms of past, present, and future. Number one, product management. Capital P, capital M. It's a noun. It is a business function. It is not something that is a role. It is a business function. It is a horizontal business function. And what you're seeing, and what you will see over the next five to ten years, are greater governance structures, greater establishment, greater alignment among all of the leaders in an organization to say, we're going to rally around the structure and function of product management. Item number two, data. Data, data, data. All right, Marty talked about it a little bit this morning. We are going to have graphs of data. Data assets are going to be mined inside of the company, open data from outside of the company, data that's going to become products. We are going to have more data to guide our decisions, which is going to leave us with greater ability to use processes effectively. Not processes for the sake of following linear pathways, but processes that will allow us to guide how we think. Because of the of the the fourth item is about the profession of the product manager. Okay, think about this. Recognize, respect it. Imagine coming into a company knowing I'm an associate product manager. I know what I need to do to move to be a regular product manager or a senior product manager. I know what it's like to get promoted to be a director. You see more of that. Okay? The product managers themselves. All right? I'm saying we are going to be the dot connectors. All right? We're going to take facts, we're going to take data, and we're going to take that and shape our businesses to look at those businesses from a holistic perspective. Products are businesses. Products are not features. Products are not capabilities. Products are businesses inside of companies that need to be managed by like portfolios. And the people who manage those product lines are teams, cross-functional product teams. And those teams are going to be empowered with the ability to be accountable for the business results of those products. All right? Those are the things I think are the most important. Um, and that is the end of my talk. And please come outside. Take a look at some of the books that I've written about product management. And you'll see I'm here. Well, that's it, right? <laughs> Where I think I've drawn the line in the sand for what best in class looks like. Thanks.